Hey guys, it's Landon with RH and On Point Workshops. And in this short video, I'm going to show you how you can set up some linear dimensions in QGIS. QGIS, this is version 3.36. Um, it's a little bit of a hack, so it's not quite as sophisticated as the uh, dimensioning capabilities in a, in a tool like CAD, but it, it works fairly well. And so I wanted to show you what to do. And um, I might split this into two parts. So if you're already fairly comfortable with QGIS, uh, you might just skip to the second part. Um, but I wanted, to, I wanted to show this whole process from scratch. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna create a new layer and we're gonna make it just a temporary scratch layer. And I am gonna name it uh, Lines Linear Dims. You can name it whatever you want. I'm gonna give it a geometry of line string and I'm going to set it to my coordinate system here, state plane zone three. I'm going to add one new field, which we're going to call length. And I'm going to make that a decimal field. And I'm going to go ahead and add that to the field list here. And uh, we're going to use that attribute to actually store the line lengths that get labeled. I'm going to hit OK. So I have a new layer now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change the symbology on that. So we'll pull up the properties. I just want to get something I can see. So we'll come in here, click simple line. I'm going to go to pixels. I'm going to say I want it eight pixels. <clears throat> um, and I like my rounded bevel, uh, my jointed cap style. I like to be rounded. Um, I don't think I need a dash. I think that's good enough. So we'll hit apply and OK. And uh, we're going to make this layer. It's editable now. If it's not, you can just right click and toggle editing. And we're just going to draw some of the, the links that we want to dimension. I have my snapping on. If you don't have that on, it's under project snapping options. It's turned on here. So let's go ahead and draw our first segment. And then it's going to just pull up the the attribute form we're going to put in zero for the length for now okay and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a couple more of these and i'm just hitting the right click button to end those <clears throat> And I will let you know this also works on polyline. So just for an example, if I click there and there, now I have a, a, a line string or a polyline with two line segments. So if you hit the node editor, you can see that. Excuse my runny nose, please. So we have a we have a node here, but it'll it'll label that overall length. Okay. Alright, so when we're done there, we're gonna save our layer edits. And uh, we are going to go ahead and um, calculate the, the, the length attribute now. We do that using the field calculator right here. So we're going to pull that up. <clears throat> and we're going to go ahead and update an existing field. We're going to choose the length field. And we have a list of functions here. Uh, now, there's a couple ways you can do this. You can use the geometry length function. Don't use distance. That's not going to work. But you can use the length function. Okay. But we're going to use that there's a built-in variable that will give you the length of, of the current feature, which is a dollar sign length. So you can see now it gives us a preview here on the first feature. You can choose a different feature if you want. Um, but you can see it's got way too many digits of precision there. And so I only need this to the nearest foot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this variable in another function. And I'm going to come up to the to the uh, come down here to the math functions, <clears throat> and I'm actually going to use the the uh, the floor function. You could also use the round function if you want, but I'm good with the nearest to the nearest foot. So I'm going to just hit floor, <clears throat> and I'm going to put in my closing bracket there. And you can see now it's just giving me those values to the uh, to the nearest foot. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And if we open the attribute table now, 
uh, you will see it has calculated the lengths to the nearest foot of all those segments. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to create our label to label those like a dimension. Okay, and so that's what I'm going to cover in the next part, second part. Okay, so if you're still with me, the second part of this video here, we're going to go in and set up our label now. That's our, our next step. So we're going to go to the property, pull up the properties of our linear dimensions layer, and we're going to come down to labels. Okay, and we're going to say we want a new single label, and we want it, <clears throat> we're going to leave it here for the length field. And I'm going to go ahead and make this... Uh, Let's do, uh, we'll just do Nanito Black. It's good to have a nice thick font. Thick font. I'm going to make it 16 points. And I like to put a little mask on it. So we're going to enable the mask. I'm going to go to pixels. I'm going to put a four pixel mask around. And we'll say apply. So you can see what that looks like now. Okay, but I'd like to add a little foot tick. To make it look a little more like a dimension. And for some reason, our mask, our mask did not come through there. Oh, I wanted a buffer. I'm sorry. Not a mask. Buffer. Okay, so now they're buffered, but we want to get the foot tick on. Okay, so to do that, we're actually going to use the expression. Um, instead of labeling the length here, we're going to label the expression. We're going to use the expression builder. And uh, we're going to tell it take the, the value of the length attribute, and then we're gonna do two vertical bars, which is the concatenate function. And then what we want is we want the tick. Now, the problem is the QGIS expression builder uses the, the tick or single quote to, de to delineate strings, so we have to escape it with a forward slash there. So that's gonna to actually give us the tick. Um, and you can see it doesn't look quite right in the preview, but it, it'll look right when we get done. So we're going to say, OK, now you can see that it's it's using the value of the length and then it's adding the tick. Hopefully hit apply. Hit OK. And so now we have something that looks a little bit like a linear dimension. OK. Now, I will tell you if you add more line segments so we could do that. So if we come down here and add another segment. It's not going to have the right attribute value. You got to go in and you have to re-update. You have to re-update your attribute values here. Um, you have to re-update your attribute values uh, again. And you can actually save this so you don't have to retype it every time. So you have to do that again, and then you can see it gets the uh, it gets the, the the correct value. Okay. So I hope that is helpful. Uh, I will let you know you can also label uh, areas and azimuths and bearings too, same way, same principle. Um, if it's a feature of your, if it's a, if it's a property of your geometry, you can label it in QGIS like this. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video, and uh, yeah, we'll do some more. We'll do some more QGIS videos.